Hi guys, I just wanted to do another quick video review. Today we're looking at, and yes, you see EU right there. This is the European test server. As you can see, here is the new, the new Chinese Type 64. It is a light tank uh, that's actually a uh, mismatch of American tanks. As you can see, the lower chassis is part of the M41 series. So that's the Walker Bulldog and up. The turret is based on the Hellcat. And no, this is not a modification. This is actually how the tank comes. Let's take a look at its quick details, and also it has the M1A1 gun that has been, oh sorry, correction, A2 gun that has basically the same stats as the guns that you see on the uh, Easy 8 Sherman, the E2 Sherman, and the M4, oh correction, Easy 8 and Easy, yeah, Easy 8 Sherman and the E2 Sherman, it's not on the uh, M4 unfortunately. Uh, Type 64 turrets, the basically it's, it, everything's identical to that of the uh, Hellcat, with the exception that it has a 36 degree traverse speed. Now. The information on the tank is uh, more than 50 of these vehicles were produced in Taiwan. All basic components of the vehicles were based on those of the American vehicles. The Hellcat turret was mounted to the chassis of the M42 anti-aircraft vehicle and the armament is the well-proven M1A1 gun. Only one Type 64 prototype survives today. So as you can see guys, I am not joking, it is a mismatch. Now 23 tons, 25 maxed out with everything at a 500 horsepower engine. A top speed apparently of 72.4, uh, 56 degrees traverse speed, so that's a very fast traverse speed, but practically no armor as you can see, 25 in the hull and turret, 12 in the butt in, in, uh, on the sides, and 19 in the rear of the hull, and 12 in the rear of the body. So you will get pen. This is a tier 5 light tank, so you will, will most likely see tier 8s, tier 9s, and possibly even tier 10s, uh, 390 degree view range. It is a premium tank, so there is literally nothing to upgrade. As you can see, it is a premium vehicle, so there is nothing to upgrade. So it may get premium matchmaking, we don't know. Uh, as you can see, 18 rounds, basically the same as what you got. I did pay the gold to get the crew up to 100%, and they're, they're currently learning camouflage. My uh, rack of consumables is my typical med pack small repair kit and fire extinguisher. I am running nine rounds of ACPR ammo. Just on that off chance, I really need to pen. Uh, I'm running a camo net. I'm running binocular telescopes and a medium caliber tank rammer. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going with a stationary static scout build. And of course, last but not least, there is the Japanese Type 3 Chi Nu Ka. Uh, this is a medium tank. Again, this is a premium, as you can see, so it may get premium matchmaker. It has a 75mm gun with 124mm of average penetration, 155 with a premium round, and 125 average alpha damage with 0 0.37 accuracy and a 2.3 aim time. The aim time, in my honest opinion, is what's going to hurt this tank. Uh, as you can see, it does after, have aftermarket camouflage. The crew is still at 50%. I haven't tried playing this any of these tanks yet, but that's not what you guys are here for. You guys are here for these the big boys, the new German artillery, the new German tank destroyers. So, we start off with the Marta 38T. Well, what can I say? Let's take a look at its guns that it gets. It does get a very wide selection of guns. We're going to take a look at all three. As you can see right here, guys. Uh, it starts off with the PAX 36R, 16.67 rounds per minute, 96 millimeters of penetration, so it will give KVs, or pro KV1s a run for its money. 115 alpha damage, not bad. The accuracy is left to be desired, but the aim, aim time, excuse me, is pretty good. It's on the Marder 2 and it's also on the Marder 38T, so you'll most likely have this gun unlocked if, you have the Mar if you've had the Marder 2. Moving on to its uh, up gun which is the uh, 75 centimeter pack 40 to L46, so 17.65, so it gets a fire rate increase along with a penetration increase. Uh, uh, loses a little bit of alpha by five points, but look at the accuracy, 0.38 accuracy increase and an even faster aim time of 0.17. And then we look at the bigger gun from that. This one fires even faster. Same penetration, same alpha, better accuracy, and even faster aim time. Uh, I'm just blown away. They finally realized that this is how guns are supposed to be in World of Tanks. Uh, hull armor of 50, 15 and 15. Let's take a look. 
yes, it, you know what, let's upgrade everything on this for you guys so you can get to see it all as it is with its maxed out stats. I should have done this earlier, but you know what, I just didn't get time to. So, its maxed out engine is 180 horsepower, 47 top speed, that's pretty fast, 42 degree traverse, that's pretty good. Uh, the gun traver traverse is 26 degrees, so you've got a good little small angle of movement here. So if you if you lock your hull down, you may actually get some decent shots going off. Yeah, I mean, uh, signal range is left to be desired, and the view range isn't that bad. Maybe if you uh, kit it out with the right components, you can do quite well. Then, moving on from there, we've got the Panzer Syphilis 5-4C. Uh, uh, now, this is a rather odd-looking tank, as you can see. The, the crew is somewhat protected, but not from artillery. Again, I don't have any crews for these tanks, so I haven't played any of them yet. So this is just basically what you see is what you get. Now, let's upgrade this bad boy as well. Ooh, gets the Maybach. Now, let's take a look at her guns. Sorry about the noise in the background, guys. Uh, she starts off with a 7.5 centimeter flak L60, uh, 15 rounds a minute, 139 average penetration, 135 average alpha, 0 0.35 accuracy, 1.79 times. This gun, I can see right here, right now, is going to be a KV-1 killer, and a and a KV-1S killer. It really will. Uh, for a stock gun, it's absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the 8.8, .8, the flak 37 L56. Uh, 8.82 rounds a minute, so it loses a little bit of fire rate, and it loses penetration, but the alpha is actually quite astonishing. 20, 220 alpha, uh, 0.35 accuracy, which is the same, 1.98 times, so I really wouldn't see this gun much, as much of an upgrade, with the exception of the alpha, but you're paying for the cost of penetration. But again, 132 pen, you're really going to pen anything at tier, five, uh, tier 4, tier 5, tier 6. You may struggle a little bit when it comes to certain things like the AT... 87s, 88s. Uh, let's see, and then we look at its bigger gun, the L74. Uh, again, a little bit less fire rate, a lot more penetration, and uh, uh, 200, 20 more alpha, better accuracy. Ooh, but the aim time is going to be killer for you guys. For you, so honestly, for a stock gun, at tier six, not bad. Again, these guns are only compatible. With the, the vehicles that they afford, they don't gun them up, unfortunately, which is kind of a, a bit of a shame. So, ooh, let's take a look at its core stats, shall we? Uh, with its upgraded maxed out Maybach engine of 400 horsepower, you'll see its top speed limit of 60 kmh, which really isn't that bad. Again, 48 degree traverse with a 26 degree traverse gun, just like the Marder 38T. So, again, not a bad little funny looking tank, but still not a bad looking ta uh, tank destroyer. Now, on the tier 6 Nostrum. Again, let's max out its equipment. Quickly. For you guys. Wow, three engine choices. Oh, you spoilt for choice there. Let's take a look at the guns. Wow, three gun choices too. Again, you get the... Uh, let's see what you get. Wow, these guns are actually uh, 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 on the previous other tanks like the Stug. Jagdpanzer 4, Jagdpanzer, and also now the Nurstrom. So now we're starting to see some cross compatibility with the guns. Uh, let's see, the 42L70 is what you get on the Stug 3. Uh, now we're looking at Jagdpanzer 4, Jagdpanzer guns, they're big boys. Uh, 10.71 10, 10 uh, round per minute, 132 average pen, 100, uh, 220 alpha. 0.35 accuracy, 1.7 aim time, not a bad little gun, it's one of those guns that you would, once you get, you're really going to find it hard to want to upgrade to the other guns. Now let's take a look at the L71, 9.52 uh, rounds a minute, that isn't a bad round per minute, it's better than most some most heavies. Uh, 203 average penetration, again it's pretty impressive. Uh, you'll definitely give tanks like the uh, uh, T29, uh, um, IS, IS6, uh, uh, and, and tanks of that nature are run for its money. Uh, 240 average alpha. Alpha is a little bit left to be desired, but then again, you know, they've got to balance it somehow. 0 0.32 accuracy. My good God, you found your sniper gun. At uh, 1.9 aim time. Again, with the offset of getting it. Let's see if you can get one. 
Uh, yes, it can get an enhanced gun lane drive, but it can actually get the additional growlers, which is what shocks me. So uh, uh, that 40 speed, you'll keep it on soft terrain, or uh, moderately soft terrain. Uh, uh, hull armor is left to be desired of 30 millimeters, but it does have a bit of angling, so you may bounce a few shots. And this, of course, they're aiming for the driver port, which is quite, which is flat. So you're going to get a pen there. You may get a pen here. So yeah, it's not a bad gun. Let's move on to the Panzer Slif 5. Again, this is a very odd looking tank. Uh, doesn't have a turret, but it looks like it. Let's take a look at what you get for the upgrades. Again, some upgrades you may have already, some upgrades you won't. Only gets two guns. Let's take a look at the, the let's take a look at them. It gets the 10.5 uh, uh, cannon 18, uh, 7.5 rounds a minute, 169 average pen, 300 alpha. Now we're talking. Now we're talking alpha. Uh, point uh, three six accuracy, 2.3 aim time. Aim time's a little bit on the sucky side, but hey, what can you do about it? But that average alpha and whatnot's looking pretty good. Let's take a look at what's well, a tier nine gun. Finally, we're getting some meat in, in this potatoes. Uh, 4.35 rounds a minute. Ouch! But if 128 caliber gun, would you expect 231 millimeters of penetration, 490 alpha, alpha damage? Now we're talking. 0.36 accuracy, 2.5 second aim time. This gun is actually better than the gun you'll get on the uh, on the uh, American Premium T34 heavy tank, which is kind of shocking. Uh, with exception of the uh, rate of fire, rate of fire, it's got you beat there. But would you expect it's a premium tank? But uh, for I can see this gun possibly being a mini star destroyer, if you will. Now let's move on to Rush Bursing, the, the Rim Bursing Waffelneger. Oh, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Uh, let's take a look at what upgrades it gets. Radios wise, tracks wise. I still think the track should have a visual appearance on on tanks, and it gets two tier gun ten guns. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. It gets the 12.8 centimeter K44 L55 at 5.77 rounds a minute, 246 average penetration, 311 penetration with premium rounds. 490 alpha damage, 0.35 accuracy, 2.1 second aim time. It's better aim time than the previous tank, tank destroyer, which is uh, pretty impressive. Uh, let's take a look at its upgrade. The uh, Pack L29.5, 150 caliber gun, 3.33 rounds a minute. This is a slow firing gun. 215 alpha, 750 alpha damage. It's it, This gun is comparable to that of what goes on the T30. Um, at 0 0.04 accuracy, that kind of sucks. You're looking Mal's accuracy here. Uh, 2.5 second aim time is gonna gonna hurt. What kind of offsets it is? You've got no armor either, so you are literally a glass cannon. So you get, better hope and pray that your your shot uh, uh, does hit, so to say. No turret, of course, which is kind of a shame. Uh, let's take a look at the alternate lines that they have here. This is the Waffenliga as of Panzer IV. Uh, let's take a look at what you get. You get the Azure Stug radio. Let's look at tracks. Let's look at what engines. You only get tier 5 engines, so you're not really fast. But you get, holy smokes, you get four gun selections here, guys. They are spoiling you for choice. Uh, we just saw that pack 38L, so we don't have to look at that one. And the K44, so you don't have to look at that one. But you get the L29.5 and it's stock K44 L55. Now the stock guns get 6.32 rounds a minute, 246 average penetration, 311 with a premium round. Again, it's what you got on the previous tank. Uh, pack 29.5, again, it's what you got on the previous tank. So no, you do get some other tank uh, uh, guns here. So... Uh, yeah, it's the L. It's this one, the uh, uh, two L six six one, five point six one rounds a minute, two hundred and seventy six average penetration, three hundred and fifty two with a premium round, and five hundred and sixty alpha damage at point three three accuracy, one seven aim, second aim time. I think this is your. This is the winner. Yeah, I think this is the winner. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what she looks like, shall we? Holy cow, that is a long barrel. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, that is a big that 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 is a big boy right there, isn't it? Holy smokes! Uh, Sixteen hundred hit points isn't that bad for a tank destroyer of this tier. Uh, wow! Good sneeze, I can feel it. <coughs> oh, bless me! Uh. So, guys, uh, they're the German tank destroyers in the nutshell. Uh, yeah. You really don't start seeing a hit point boost until at tier, tier 7, tier 8, and tier 9 is the same. And, and then, of course, you've got the Jag Tiger, Jag Panzer E100, and their big counterpart. Now, this thing is an auto loader. This bad boy gets some serious punishment. Uh, this one actually has better accuracy, the most accurate gun in the game. At point two nine. At point two nine for a stock gun, this is freaking insane. Um, I may actually give this tank a bit of a run for its money later. I may take it out. And uh, let's take a look what the big boy looks like on this thing. Oh, short barrel. Okay, so it's kind of like the the uh, 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 the big one fifty five on the T thirty. Okay, two thousand two hundred hit points. Weighs a hundred tons and has a 1,200 horsepower engine. Has a 200 hull armor, 120 on the sides, 150 in the rear. Holy cow. Uh, turret is basically garbage. So I wouldn't go turret down. Uh, 420 view range. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. So yeah, you, you've, you've hit view range cap. Almost view range cap. So uh, let, let's actually you no, know let's add this. So if I'm stationary, I will hit view range cap, twenty five percent on top of that. Yeah, you'll hit view range cap with this thing. So uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to let you guys check out the uh, German tank destroyers, and uh, leave a video uh, leave a comment down below on the video, and uh, let me know what tanks you want to see, and I'll get you some footage of them. Okay, guys. And uh, as always, I'm going to say leave this video with a keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out.